Hello my dear student, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. In today's class, I will discuss some more important error detection for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, PSC, CDS, Bank, etc. etc. So, please browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English. You will find all the videos necessary for all of you. If you have anything to know regarding this class, you can easily make your comments in the comment box sections so dear students let's get started kindly keep your eyes over the board now in the exam you will be asked to find out the error not asked to find the correct the errors if you are asked to find out the error and also correct the error then you have to find out the error and also correct the error but here the classes will be about error detection not correction against each and every sentence four option will be given out of the four options you have to choose the right option where the mistake lies now look about the first sentence the newly government reiterated its commitment to the development of the poor. Again, I am repeating the newly government reiterated its commitment or promise to the development of the poor. Now, where is the mistake lies? Where is the mistake lying? The newly government reiterated means told again. Told again. This is called reiterated to the development of the poor. No error. Now, this is the noun. Before the noun, we generally use adjective before the noun is generally is adjective but we generally do not use adverb before the noun but here newly is functioning here as adverb so before the noun we generally place adjective we can also place prepositions but here adjective must be there so but here instead of the adjective the adverb form is here it should be like the new government or the newly formed government. The new government or the newly formed government. So the mistake lies here. We cannot place any adverb before any noun. Until and unless the noun is supported by any other thing. Now if I just look over the next question. He has relinquished. Relinquished means given up. Relinquished all control by the family business to his daughter. Now there are four options. He has relinquished all control, the family business to his daughter or no error. So if you think there is no error, then you have to go for the option no error. Now whenever you are going to use the preposition, going to use something like control or vice versa, generally after that we place the preposition over. Because over also functions as preposition of controlling or dominance in some cases. So after over we generally place the preposition over. After not over you can say after control. So if I just look over the sentence again. He has relinquished all control by the family business to his daughter. After control we place the preposition over in general cases so here that means you can say the right answer is he has relinquished all control over the family business to his daughter but here you are just asked to find out the error so the error lies in option p this means he has relinquished all control over the family business to his daughter so instead of by it should be over now if I just look over the next question, you can get all the information if you go through this booklet. You can get all the information if you go through this booklet or no error. Now be careful, information is such a noun that has no plural form. Information, it is singular, it is plural. We cannot write as before information it is singular it is plural depending on the syntax or sentence construction so here we have already added s 
so automatically it is the wrong one so you can get all the information it should not be s s should be omitted so the mistake lies in option b now if i just look over the next question each one of the boys have paid the tuition fee now look over the option each one of the boys have paid the tuition fee no error whenever you are going to use pronoun like each or something like that verb must be singular in form but here instead of the singular verb we have written the auxiliary verb have have is used when the subject is plural but here the subject is singular so automatically instead of have has should be used but in option b what is that is that of the boys have so here is the mistake automatically in option b you will find the mistake each one there is no mistake paid the tuition fee no mistake no error so there is no question of choosing option d rather mistake lies in option b have here is the mistake have instead of have has should be there now if i just look over the next question had i known it earlier i would have i would contacted you i would contact you had i known it earlier i would contact you no error now whenever we are going to use the fictitious sentence like this had i known or something like that so it should be like would have or could have or might have contacted so here have is missing so this is the mistake there is no mistake in option a had i known there is no mistake in option b it earlier there is no question of choosing option d no error so the mistake lies in this option it should be would have now if i just look over the overall question answer session the new leave government reiterated its commitment to the development of the poor so before now we generally place adjective but here adverb be placed so ultimately the mistake lies here this means mistake lies here it should be new or it should be like newly formed government now if i look over question number 2 he has relinquished all control by the family business to his daughter whenever you are going to use the word control generally after that we place the preposition over so automatically instead of over here what is place is to buy here is the mistake there is no mistake in the rest of the part like he has relinquished the family business to his daughter etc etc now in question number 3 you can get all the information if you go through this now information is such a noun that functions as singular or as plural depending on the sentence construction but here we have already written s we cannot write s to the noun information so here is a mistake there is no mistake in the rest of the part like you can get or if you go through go through means read go through means read each one of the boys have paid the tuition fee each is a pronoun that always takes the singular verb but here the verb is plural So automatically mistake lies in option B. Now if I just look about the last question, had I known it earlier, I would contact you. It is actually called the fictitious sentence in English. In case of that, the former should be like, had I known it earlier, I would have or could have or might have contacted you. But here might or would have have is greatly missing. So automatically the mistake lies here. So this is my short analysis for all of you as far as competitive exams are concerned in respect of error detections so if you have anything to know regarding this class you can easily drop your comments in the comment box sections if you like my videos you can subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell icon for more such video so kindly wait for my next class till then have a very good day